afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us in this stream. I hope you all had a wonderful festive season with family and friends and have started the new year in good spirits. At the Secretariat, we are preparing many exciting moments for you to meet up with your colleagues or to promote your latest plant innovations. We are looking forward to flower trials and our floral star contest in week 24, our annual convention early July in Salzburg, the Home Garden Conference in September, and the Breeders and Distributors Conference, which will take place at the end of November, early December, like it used to be the case before COVID. However, no better way to kick off the new year than by disclosing the results of last year's annual trial. In a few minutes, we will announce the new approved novelties and our gold medal winners. But before we do that, I would like to hand over to our new president, Marek Driessen. To mark the beginning of his term, Mark has prepared a few words for you. Dear Fleur Select members, as we have started a new year, I'm honored to address you for the first time as Fleur Select president. Thank you once more to Karel Pavlak for the outstanding job you have done. I'm proud to take over the reins and look forward to working with all of you, including Karel. Fleur Select is about plants and about networking. And last year was filled with many highlights. Three innovative breeding achievements of our members have been awarded with a gold medal. Whereas Mandevilla Sunderville Double Blush Pink took home the Fleur Star Award. In week 24, we had the flower trials and we received over 8,000 international visitors and Fleur Select winners were even more visible than ever. We were able to meet and exchange business views during our many events. Our home and garden and our distributors, our breeders and distributors conferences touch many subjects relevant to the industry, such as biodiversity, corporate social responsibility, and energy efficient growing. At the annual convention in the UK, we welcome new members, being Philip Klein and Seedlings, whereas, Sahin was a, uh, whereas Elizabeth Sahin was awarded the Fleur Select Laureate for outstanding services to the industry. For 2024, we have many exciting moments ahead of us. Next week, the ladies of the Secretariat will be present at the IPM in Essen. Our members have entered more than 20 exciting new varieties in the annual trial for you to discover next spring and summer. And of course, preparations for flower trials 2024 are well underway and I'm looking forward uh, uh, to our annual convention that will be in early July in Salzburg in the coming year. So let's continue to cultivate a spirit of collaboration and growth. Together as professional family, we will continue to inspire each other and create not only plants, but also many partnerships. This to continue our journey. As breeders and distributors of new plant varieties, we are the heartbeat of the flowering world. We play a key role in shaping landscapes and contribute to the well-being of man. The song of Miley Cyrus uh, showed to what extent plants and flowers are loved by all of us. Her song Flowers was downloaded over a billion times and I'm sure that we are able to strengthen this sentiment with the new introductions our members are going to make. So let's continue to drive the industry and seduce all customers with beautiful, innovative and sustainable varieties. Happy New Year, dear friends. May this year bring happiness and commercial success to all of you. Thank you, Mark, for these words. We are proud and grateful to have you as our president, and we are looking forward to working with you. Do you still remember last year's gold medal winners? How do Gazania Zaini Sunnyside up from Benari, 
Helianthus Desire Red from Burpee, and Tomato Tiny Temptations from Prudak look back to their year as gold medal winner. To what extent did winning a gold medal help them by achieving their commercial goals? Let's find out. Hi to all Flora Select members. I want to tell you a little bit about the success we've had with our Dwarf Red Sunflower, Helianthus Desire Red, gold medal winner in 2023. Media coverage for this variety across all channels has been fantastic. Uh, we even received uh, television coverage uh, in national television uh, on the U in the UK uh, following Chelsea Flower Show. Across Europe, Desire Red has performed extremely well in garden trials and we're very grateful for the extra added publicity brought about by the issuing of samples by the Flora Select organisation. If you're looking for an independent assessment of your varieties, either vegetable or flower, then look no further than the Flora Select gold medal system. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Bussard and I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager at Benari. Today I would like to share some insights about our current Flora Select Gold Medal winner, Gazania Sunny Side Up. Because I very often get the question, is it actually worthwhile for a breeder to participate in that contest? My straight answer is always very short and simple, yes. Breeding companies are at the very beginning of the value chain and are the innovation drivers for the flowers industry. The Flora Select Gold Medal is a fantastic platform to ensure that new varieties getting the attention they need and also to find a successful way into the marketplace. Obviously, we are launching new varieties by our own global marketing initiatives. However, it provides an additional attention and sales boost if an independent organization like Flora Select confirms your own message. It is needless to say that the criteria for gold medal are quite strict and evaluated by highly recognized industry professionals. We really benefit a lot from a global marketing initiative of Flora Select, which is resulting in a lot of requests from grower and consumer press, various magazines and retail. To summarize, I can only encourage every breeding company to participate in the contest and to submit promising varieties. Simply make it part of your introduction plan and you will be surprised positively every year. So, go for it! All the best and sunny greetings from all Banarians around the world. Hi, I'm Art and I'm very proud of our new gold medal winner, Tiny Temptations Orange. And we are very happy because the customers show us how positive they are about our, the fruit production of the Tiny Temptation Orange. Attention to our company and all the products which we have. That it brings all the consumers and the press to our company where we can show our edibles to all the consumers which are around the world to taste our products. Beautiful. As you know by now, it takes a full year to gain approved novelty status or to win a gold medal. We have a whole procedure in place to make sure that all varieties are thoroughly tested and evaluated, and many people are involved in this process. 
our judges evaluate all new varieties on their trial grounds, whereas our experts of the Entries and Evaluation Committee provide valuable insights throughout the year. But what exactly does it take to be granted a proof novelty or to become a gold medal winner? Let's see what our experts say. As the chairman of the Entry and Evaluations Committee, I enjoy to evaluate the reports of the Fleur Select judges with a team of experts from our industry. We nominate the gold medal winners based on innovation, variety performance, wow factor, and additional value to both the grower and the consumer. Entries that are sufficiently uniform, new and different, are nominated for novelty protection. Hi there, and a warm welcome to all of you from Selecta in Stuttgart. My name is Henk Dresselhuis, and I wish you all a great start into the new year. Another year also is starting for the Fleur Select trials. As a longtime member of Fleur Select and also of the Entry and Evaluation Committee, I play a role in these trials. Together with my fellow members of the committee, we have to um, judge and accept the new entry varieties from all the Fleur Select members that go up for a gold medal or a novelty award. As a committee, we have the responsibility to make sure that all the varieties are tested against the best possible uh, comparisons and to make sure that at the end of the season, when the varieties are performing better, that it is also a performance that is outperforming the best varieties that are currently available in the world. This is always a very painstaking and interesting process. It is fascinating to see what happens every year in the breeding developments of all our members and to play a role in this process is what I really like. It makes you think about the advancements of our floral industry and also gives you an insight in what the market developments might be. The part of the job of the EEC committee I enjoy most, most is the exchange of expertise with the other group members. And what I also love is that I'm one of the first knowing which variety wins a gold medal. So, the next question is, which gold medal winner of the past came a new standard in the industry? I guess it is Corepsis Early Sunrise, which received the gold medal already in 1989 and still today is in many young plant and seed assortments in our industry. But also Zinnia Profusion Cherry, gold medal winner of 1999, set new standards in the industry. It motivated the success of the variety, motivated the breeders to breed in more colors and, and flower types. In the meantime, we got six gold medal winners of Zinnia Marilantica. So if I look back to more or less three decades of horticultural experience, I would say the first uh, gold medal winners which impressed me had been some um, uh, pansies like the Ultima Morpho, the Patparatia, the Jolly Joker, um, which had been uh, yeah, outstanding colors at this time um, because they had been orange, blue and yellow, um, which had not been around. As well, I was um, really impressed by the Cosmos Sonata White, which had been um, far better for consumers uh, and for growers because it's early, it's more or less day length neutral and um, it's not as tall as existing varieties, so far easier to grow and far longer to enjoy. Later on, um, the development in perennials like with Lobelia Fan Scarlet, with Corepsis Early Sunrise was impressing me because it changed the business of per growing perennials into an easy job. Uh, so with the annual flower and without a lot of problems, usual growth of perennials uh, caused up to that time. I think one of the later um, bigger developments is uh, um, breeding in hybrid seniors. Uh, all these special colors like uh, profusion, cherry, um, the yeah, following um, other ones like uh, red, red bicolor, yellow or red, yellow bicolor, 
and um, the dark reds um, that was changing the whole business of Senia. And for consumers, the tropeolum, um, the baby varieties with the compact rows uh, had been a big change of the game because it made it possible to grow tropeolum in pots and containers on patio and on your terrace. That's, uh, I think, a big development in the business. I would like to say thank you to Sally, Anne and the team for the enthusiastic work uh, of the last years and we are looking forward to the future and what the year two, 2024 will bring us as novelties and exciting varieties and medal winners um, from the breeders sending them to Floral Select. Last trial season had some very interesting new varieties, including Coreopsis, Dahlia, Lavandula, Lobelia, Tageta, Salvia, Zinnia and many more. Let's have another look at the trial field. Isn't that floral splendor heartwarming in the cold winter months? Now, let's move over to the results and let's have a look at the novelties first. From last year's trial, following varieties have performed better on innovation and uniformity than their comparisons and are therefore granted approved novelty status. Also from last year's trial, we have one variety that has obtained gold medal status but will not be introduced as such yet because the breeder needs more time to increase the seed stock. This variety will officially be introduced in the following years when the breeder is ready to do so. Let's have a look.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment everyone has been waiting for, the new gold medal winners. Which new varieties have performed clearly better than their comparisons, are considered a real breakthrough in breeding, and will be introduced to the industry this season? Two entries from this year's trial are ready and set to conquer the market. FluoroSelect proudly presents our two new gold medal winners. Hi there, Happy New Year. We are right now in the middle of the winter and it's a perfect moment to talk about the new variety of Coreopsis, Coreopsis Corusco Cream Red. What is Corusco Cream Red and how did it start it? Years ago we were breeding in Coreopsis and we developed Roulette, which is a variety for home gardeners and cut flowers. And at that point of time we also decided to start developing a series for professional growers. We made some crosses of old varieties and different material because we also want to have new colors and that's always challenging, very challenging. And in the following years we shaped these varieties into what is Carusco right now. Carusco Cream Red is for prof professional growers, a dwarf Coreopsis which is easy to grow in a 10 or 12 centimeter pot. It will flower very early, it has a basal branching, uh, there's no need for pinching, there's no need for PGR and because it's flowering very early it can also be grown in a cool greenhouse which is quite important nowadays. For the home gardeners, Corusco Cream Red is a new Coreopsis with a new color combination. It has a stunning color combination of cream with a dark red maroon center. It has a nice compact plant which fits into containers but also in bedding and the dwarf plants are loaded with flowers in, in early in the season. Corusco Cream Red was in the Fleurstack Trials last year. If you didn't see it, well you have something nice to look forward to next spring and next summer because you get now the opportunity to try it on your own and to offer it to your customers or to enjoy it in your garden. Thank you for watching. The first test in the trials this year. It started off with a really good one. What got our attention was that the earliness of flowering really was outstanding. Um, when we run over the trials, uh, the competitor crop, which was dwarf, um, was, um, was trying to form a flower and this Coreopsis it was already fully flowering and giving an outstanding performance on the trials. Um, what's also uh, specific on this variety is the very nice contrast between the creamy petals and the dark red centers. Um, what's also uh, for us is very uh, nice to see is that the compact habit is also uh, very outstanding for this variety and this is the reason why it really deserves uh, a medal. As a company, we really look forward to introducing this into a hobby garden uh, range and we're really uh, looking forward to seeing it in the market. Hello, I'm Pim Kahn, plant breeder at Benari. I'm very happy to announce our Fleurslet Gold Medal winner, Marsupies Blue with Eye. Marsupies Blue with Eye is a real breeding breakthrough. It's the first F1 hybrid from seed and it can compete against cutting varieties. The good thing about it is that it has a short crop time from 12 to 14 weeks. It has big flowers with beautiful blue, uh, beautiful deep blue with a beautiful white striking eye in it and it has an excellent heat tolerance. It also has an excellent field performance and it will flower from the beginning of the summer till the late fall. And it can really uh, get up against heat, uh, heat loving uh, varieties. The other thing is it has beautiful mounty plant habit which is loaded with flowers. Uh, you can uh, use it for landscape, 
you use it in the field, you can use it in beds, but also it's perfect for pot and container production. I hope you will have a lot of fun with this beautiful variety and uh, thank you for your attention. My name is Gerard Wering. On behalf of Floranova and Syngenta, I'm a judge for the Fluoro Select Trials and I'm also part of the Entry Evaluation Committee. In this role as judge, I was able to judge the uh, entries from this year and one really remarkable entry was the F1 hybrid Lobelia. We know Lobelia normally uh, as an open pollinated uh, variety, so F1 was already something special. But when we looked at the performance, first in the greenhouse and later in the field, it really performed very well and was clearly distinct from the open pollinated varieties. In the greenhouse, we saw very good uniformity, a good figure, not too compact, but enough figure for, uh, for good use. But the most interesting was, of course, the outdoor performance. We saw that in the field, the plants uh, kept on flowering for a very long time. We know that Lobelia normally uh, suffers under adverse weather conditions, but this F1 hybrid really showed the hybrid uh, power and performed very well with a good figure and long flowering season till the end of the season. So for me, this was a clear gold medal winner. And I'm sure that the entrant will be happy with this and will be very successful in launching this variety to the market. I hope you are as convinced of these winners as we are. Please join me in wishing them the very best for their upcoming commercial journey. To conclude, I would like to point out that a newsletter with all information on the new winners will be sent out to the entire membership. Journalists will receive a press release and a video of this stream. And in the upcoming days, we will be posting on our new winners via the FluoroSelect social media channels. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for being with us and enjoy the rest of the day.